they have it so made. Yes. Gen Z has a blessing. Well, some of them ain't got <laughs> no sense. No. Some of them ain't got no sense. Because they don't have no struggle. Because We got struggle. We're the last one to struggle. Right, right. This right. also, uh, you got to thank them because it's also made us. The, We're not yes. soft. I, and, 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 but We're you know soft. what? What I appreciate about Gen Z um, is that they genuinely are so unapologetic. Mm. Yes. Oh, God. They yes. are so unapologetic. Sometimes they ain't got no sense. But they are so unapologetic, and they want what they want, yeah, and they're right. gonna go get it. Yes, but they're yeah. also kind of lazy. Kind of. They're very lazy. See, kinda, I work yeah. with a lot. They're pretty, it's, it's, they're, you take the good or the bad. It, yeah. it's, it's, yeah. it's they, they, they're giving me my job security when I'm fifty. <laughs> they, they are kind of <laughs> lazy. No, they don't. They don't want to work. They don't. No, nah, if nah. it ain't, if it ain't like they want to work, but not your way. Creative. Yeah, but not your way. Not and your I, traditional and I, way. And no. I really feel like that's the the fault of technology. Yeah. It's grown right. so oh. much to the point where it's like you have to do the minimal effort to get maximum yeah. output. Mm-hmm. Really, you know what I'm saying? Facts. But at the same time, automated, automate, automate. Exactly, right, yeah. automated. But at the same time, one thing that I do love about them, like how y'all said, they denounce a lot. Mm-hmm. They're mostly anti-establishment because it's time to. What? Destroy and rebuild. Yeah. Mm. A smart man destroys and rebuilds. Mm-hmm. Because you already know that the thing that you built can't carry you forever. Like, you know, we just had that discussion about the car. A, yeah, ca- yeah, yeah. a Camry will last you. Yeah, 100%. But, but is it years. For 100 years. <laughs> for 100 years. <laughs> but a not, lifetime, yeah. But a lifetime, oh, yeah. right? But lifetime lasts how long? 100 years, yeah. maybe, right? Might. 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 You know what I'm saying? Well, you know. Yeah, you know. But that's the point, is that some of these things are finite and they have to be rebuilt over some mm-hmm. time. And that's why you have to actively, of course, in your choice and whatever it is that you want to do, go against the grain. Yeah. Whew. You have to. Yeah. Because how can you ever expect innovation or change to come right. about if you don't already challenge the norm? Right. First right? of all, you think about it in the Bible. How many people went against the grain? Bruh. How many people, you know, I... Was read. I studied uh, Second Kings a couple. Was it last year, a year or some ago? Mm-hmm. And I was reading about Elijah and Elisha. Elisha, Elijah literally found Elisha. Elisha is a young boy, mm-hmm. probably a teenager. Mm-hmm. He was literally tending to his garden or whatever he was doing at his parents' house. Dropped his rake. Elijah was like, "Come follow me." Dropped his rake and he followed him. Mm. He kissed his mama goodbye. That's what it says. And he walked away. No, nope. it doesn't say in the text if his mama was crying, if she was like, nah, baby, come back, please. <laughs> no, baby, please. It didn't say any of that. He literally just took his stuff and went and he walked right behind him. You're going to always go against the grain. All, Abraham yeah. got up and yes. walked away. That story. He said, yeah. leave what you know. Yeah. Leave what you, uh, what you grew up with. Leave everything yeah. and follow me. Yeah. And I need you to head to this uh, this land over here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Moses. Yes. Mm-hmm. Joshua. Yes. Wow. Like, it's so many people that had to go against the grain mm-hmm. just to do what they were called to do. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So, yes, mom and dad, I love you. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you know, you didn't call me to do this. Yeah. Nah. You know, I love you, but you're not my source. Yeah. Right. You know, it is, it is a blessing to have parents, first of all. Yeah. I think that's one of the things on this couch that I know is that we all have parents that love us. Mm-hmm.